an ancient anger, a dark fury, an age-old vendetta, a vengeance. The gods have returned. The ancient spirits have come back to the modern world, to America. But they haven't just come back. They've come back with a vengeance. This is Jonathan Kahn. In The Return of the Gods, the latest book I've written, I reveal in full the mystery of the returning spirits, how they're affecting everything and why it's behind everything that's happening. It's affecting your life. It's affecting the people in your life. Where is it going? What's the end game? Where is it? Where is it heading? What's the future? What do you need to know? How to be prepared, how to prevail. As the gospel came in to Western civilization, the gods, the ancient gods were driven out. The ancient spirits or the Shadim in Hebrew or the Daimonia in Greek, the dark spirits were cast out. But now we're seeing the opposite. As the West turns away from God and away from the gospel and away from the word, away from all those things, there's a vacuum created. So the spirits are returning as according to the ancient warning that Jesus gave. The gods are coming back. Each one, the return of the gods, each one specific God. That's what we're revealing, the actual specific entities. But they haven't just come back. They've come back with a vengeance, with a vendetta. Now think about it. They were cast out by the gospel. So now that's why they are warring against the gospel. That's why the gospel is now being warred against in our culture. The spirits were driven out by the word of God. So now they're seeking to drive the word of God out of America, out of the West, out of the world. That's why there's a war against the word of God. That's actually seeking to drive it out. Just like it started by taking it out of school, but it hasn't stopped. The gods or the spirits were overcome by Christians. So now they are set on warring against Christians. Christians are their target. Conservatives, because they seek to conserve or not change, but Christians, particularly people of faith. That's why there's a rising hostility in America against Christians. It's a spirit against Christianity, against the faith. The worship of the gods in ancient times was encroached upon by the new faith. So now the gods, the spirits, are seeking to encroach upon the Christian faith, religious freedom, to encircle it, to say you can't preach this, you can't say this. If you do, we defund you, we deplatform you, we do this. These are the gods. The gods were marginalized, driven to the, they were once in the center of culture, they were driven to the margins of society. So now they're seeking to do the same to believers, to marginalize those who believe in God, those who uphold the ways of God, to marginalize believers and God, to drive them to the margins of society. In ancient times, it was the young, it was the children of Rome who most turned away from paganism of their parents, of the gods, and to the new faith. The younger generation, the children of the Roman Empire, ended up ending the gods. So now, the gods are seeking to especially take possession of the younger generation. That's why the children to alienate them from God. It began with the removing of prayer and the word from school in the early 60s, but it it hasn't stopped, look where it is now. To make the children so alien to the ways of God and the ways of God so alien to the children that they'll finish off faith in America and in the West and in the world. Last days, if you're a believer, you've got a target on you. You're in a war, you must fight. That's why I wrote The Return of the Gods. This is just a taste of the mystery revealed in the latest book I've written, The Return of the Gods. It's the mystery that's everywhere. As you can see, it's affecting you right now. That's why I wrote it, so you could know and so you could overcome. And you could also help the people in your lives who need to know. The Return of the Gods tells what's going to happen in the future, where this goes, where it's going, and how to prevail, what you need to know to survive to prevail. Next time, an ancient vision an ancient sign, and now a sign that we are now in the process of not only paganization, but possession. Hit subscribe, you don't wanna miss it. This is Jonathan Kahn, I'll see you next time in In This Sign, Conquer. We would start seeing the removal of the crosses. Crosses have been taken down across America and the West from courthouses, from government buildings, from schools, from public places all over. It's hard to even imagine they were there. They were there.